Good morning, folks. Wake up quick today. We've got a lot to talk about. Got a calm star in front of us. Corona hole present, no flares, and the thin filament rope is stable as she goes. Absolutely nothing going on on the sun, right? Nope. A major uptick has taken place as an enormous CME cloud and halo form ripped away from the exact backside of our sun. It's a big time blast, luckily heading 100% away from Earth. Meanwhile, our side is as calm as it looks, no real flaring, and the sunspots are coming back, so far not firing. We've got significant umbral shape and size with beta class magnetics. It'll be good to watch these over the coming days, especially with how much they have been morphing thus far. Solar wind speed in yellow keeps climbing up and up as the coronal hole stream impacts. The stream is weaker than previous ones, however, and thus far we don't even have any instability in our magnetic shield, let alone a storm. Let's look in 211 angstroms to see the thin, dark filament rope is a bit more visible here, but so is the coronal hull. Interestingly, it dropped half its power overnight, especially in the arm connecting to the southern opening, and quakes have gone quiet, but we do have news from beneath our feet. It's just not that scary. Now yes, 8,000 earthquakes took place in one day at the axial seamount off the Oregon coast, and yes, a volcano is currently erupting there, but it is a very minor eruption, and something exactly like this happened in 2011, and back in 1998, and in 1993, and a couple of times before that as well. This event is cyclical, it is minor, and it is no cause for concern. The SO2 plume off Calbuco, however, is another story. This one's going all around the world. Keep an eye out for space weather data outages on Monday as they do more backup testing and new server integration. For those new to solar watching, I have linked a great paper for you on how solar minimum is as turbulent of a time as solar maximum. We'll discuss that on Fly on the Wall today, along with the UFO video from last night's upload. If you didn't check it, check it out. I know we trend towards logic and reason at this channel, but I ignore hundreds of UFO videos every week. I pick and choose very carefully. This is no reflection. It was reported by multiple people, and given that it was allegedly only visible for a few seconds, it's amazing anyone got this on camera at all. I will need to say a word on a debunking attempt that is saying that this is a reflection. In addition to the discussion from last night's video, these lights are not in the correct orientation for the position of the lights on the ground. The rest of the lights are missing from the real world in addition, and if you look closely, they had to flip the picture around to make it work. It's a good try. Definitely not a reflection. So folks, as if things aren't bad enough with the death toll approaching 7,000 in Nepal, it is supposed to be their dry season until June, but we're already seeing major flood potential more than a month before monsoon season. In the United States, I am not sure what the heck this system is doing just off the east coast here, but we're going to watch it closely. Otherwise, the low in west central Canada will carry the heat and moisture up through the Midwest today for the storms. In Europe, it is still just a story of major moisture driving onshore and curling north after a few hundred miles. No change from yesterday. In Australia and New Zealand, that curving convergence between nations is where the clouds are going to pop the strongest. Folks, as I mentioned yesterday, last month for pre-registration for observing the frontier is here. Get them quick. In terms of site content at suspiciousobservers.org, we've got a new 90,000 volt transformer in Yelverton's lab, so get caught up on the lab experiments before we crank it up a notch. It's found on the premium page. And of course, today is Saturday, so we'll do our Fly on the Wall podcast as well. Another hour will be uploaded today, and membership to the site is only 3 bucks a month or 20 for an entire year. But folks, I also mentioned we are almost done forming a partnership with Earth Changes Media. The site gets a big boost soon, going to be a lot more content, and the membership price is going to have to increase slightly. I tell you now because I set up recurring memberships to be price independent of my site which means if you sign up before June 1st, your rate is locked forever as long as your account stays open. That's for the lifetime of the website. And as always, we greatly appreciate all your support. We've got the current conditions followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.